Hi, I'm Steve from the Stone Crafting Workshop. Welcome back. Um, I'm sometimes asked on the um, comments boards, what do I do with all the pebbles that I tumble? If you keep on tumbling, you do tend to amass quite a lot of pebbles. And the answer to that is that I give quite a lot away uh, as little gifts. Uh, when I'm down at the beach hut and people are walking past and I get chatting to them, I'll give them one and say, you know, this is a pebble that came off this beach and so on. Um, the other thing that happens to them is my grandchildren play with them all every time they visit the house. All the ones in the conservatory uh, in jars and what have you, they get tipped over the floor and lined up and heaven knows what their little minds think they're doing, but they enjoy it. Uh, but recently I started something else and I today I made this. <laughs> I was looking for things to do with my pebbles I came across a hobby called wire wrapping and basically you take copper wire or aluminium wire or if you're really rich silver or gold wire and you make jewellery and as the name implies you wrap it around stones and make pendants and what have you this is one I made today it took me about an hour it's only the second one I've ever made let me say it once, I'm not setting myself up as a wire wrapping instructor or expert, I'm not. It's just to show that after just, you know, two attempts, I've made something that looks okay. It's not great. I made a couple of mistakes on it. But, you know, things like that, you get better with a bit of practice. And I just think if you're into rock tumbling and you're wondering what to do with your rocks, you could seriously think of a worse hobby than this one. Uh, I just sat down at the beach hut, uh, in the, in in the chair, looking at the beach, and you know now and again, and just just wrapping away with bits of copper wire. I followed a design from a lady on YouTube, and I'll put a link to her channel down below, and I'll put a link to the actual video where she showed how to make this particular brooch. Uh, she's very very skilled, and um, you know it'll be years before I'm even anywhere near that but it's really relaxing it's a really relaxing hobby I simply used copper wire stripped out of some electrical wiring some old electrical wiring that was getting thrown away and then I annealed it which is why this is very dull and dark looking and in you know I'm actually going to try and clean it up now but as a as a material to use for practicing I reckon it's really good it's it costs nothing so if any of you are looking for things to do with your pebbles, then uh, I really do rate this as a hobby. This incidentally is a piece of red jasper that came off of that beach. So <laughs> it's quite quite nice to be sitting there doing something um, local, that's a local thing. If I manage to get this cleaned up, I'll take some nice photos of it and, and show you. So I said I was going to try and clean this up, this copper wire up, and I've got some white vinegar, and I'm just going to leave it to soak overnight in some white vinegar. Incidentally, um, I did think about trying to clean this up using a, a cloth mop on my on my wheel. But there's a really good program on the TV at the moment called uh, All That Glitters, which is a kind of jeweler's competition, which is fascinating, really, really interesting. Uh, and on that, on the last one I saw, a guy there had made a lovely piece of jewellery and he, he was going to polish it up on the wheel and the wheel caught it and flung it onto the floor and smashed it. So that was, you know, a couple of hours work down the drain. So taking that on board, I'm going to try cleaning this by soaking it. So the first attempt is white vinegar and we'll see what that's like in the morning. The copper wire I used for doing my little pendant was, I think I said I stripped it out of some electrical wire but I also annealed it. I heated it up to cherry red with a blowtorch and that allows it, makes it softer and easier to work which is why it was so dark. 
and I've left it to soak overnight in vinegar and it's brought it up really nicely oh, that's really good Let's just uh, try and give it a little brush and it's coming up even better Ah, that's pretty nice. There you go. And the vinegar won't affect the stove at all. Uh, you're really safe on that. And I really like that effect. And there we are. Thanks for watching.